So today in this video, I'm going to show you how round one seat allocation of Joshua will look like. If you go to the official website of Joshua, that is joshua.nac.in, you'll find this scroll bar here. You can scroll through this and here you can see the option round one seat allocation results are being announced. So when you click on this, it will take you to the login date. So here you need to provide your application number, password and the security pin and then click on the login. So once you click on the login, you'll be asked to type the OTP. So the first round of Joshua counseling seat allocation has declared. So in the first round, this particular student is second choice that is SPA Delhi architecture program for this rank of 180. So he is a student of Neram and uh, he got selected for SPA Delhi in the first round. The next step is you need to go through all this option, download option, the signed option that is just a printout if you wish to take for your first round seat allocation. You can just click on this print initial allocation and then when you click on the open, it will get downloaded here and you can take a printout if you wish. And the third option is the most important option that is the willingness to submission. That is whether you are accepting the seat that is selected in the first round or you are willing to participate in the future round. In this option only you will be able to provide your willingness. So you have been provided with three options. One is float, another one is slide and then another one is freeze. I'll tell you what is the meaning of these three. Float and slide are actually more of a similar. If you are willing to participate in the future round, you can select either float or slide. But freeze is nothing but you are happy with first round seat allocation and you are ready to accept that seat and proceed with the fee payment so that is the third option if you are happy you can choose this freeze and you can do your fee payment and you can join that college but you are also happy you are willing to participate in the future rounds you have this two option the flow the difference is you just read it and able to understand i'm willing to accept the admission to any academic program of higher preference choice in the choice list submitted by me you are ready to participate in the future round in case if you are getting allocated to your higher preference choice so here the slide option, I am willing to accept the admission to the academic program higher program choice. It's same as the float. In the choice list submitted by me, providing the academic program is in the same institution. For example, if you wish to participate in the future run, but you don't want to go out of this particular university, either NIT, Trichy or NIT Calicut. You want to study in NIT, Trichy, but with a different department like computer science or EC or triple E, you can select this slide option. But you are open that you are also willing to take up the seats from the other colleges of your higher preference. You can select the float option. Both are similar, but this is mainly for engineering who wish to in the same college and the different college. You have made a very big list of choices based on your preference of the college. You can select either float or slide. I hope this would have helped you understand what is the meaning of float slide freeze option. Here there are certain other details they have provided. You just read it out. These are very important. By selecting this option, it is like you are uh, signing that you are accepting all these criteria. That is, I declare myself eligible for IIT and IIT. I have passed the qualifying exams required set of subjects is declaring that you are uh, passed all the subjects i understand my admission will stand cancelled in case this information is found to be incorrect at any stage so if any of the information that you provided in your application form or uh, any details of your school mark which are found to be not right your seat will become cancelled and also you're willing to submit the document proof for the claims and reporting in the uh, in admission during the admission you need to submit all the original proofs that you uh, provided during the application form that need to be verified while you are doing the admission in the college. So that is the meaning of science step. So the third step is I am well aware about the fee structure and wave your application at the institute which I have opted for the choice and allocation. So this is stating that you are well aware about the fees of that college and also any scholarship that are available for that course in that college. Those things you are clearly have idea so that only they are mentioning here. If not you go through the institution website and get to know the fees for your uh, particular program in that particular college. So in case not producing the valid certificate or agree the category or anything found not right your seat will be void in case the state code eligibility is wrong home state quota if it's found to be wrong your seat will also be get cancelled so just a declaration that you are true to your knowledge and you are providing all the correct information so those declarations are mentioned here so once you select this it's like you are signing and accepting all these regulations and then you are proceeding with the choices so next is after completion of this you need to upload your document so I'm going to do float for the student. Reason the student is willing to take up in the future round for getting his first choice. For, for confirmation, you need to enter your password again and also the OTP again you will have received for your uh, email address and phone number. 
so my willingness has been submitted so i selected for the float option uh, at this time the next step you will get unlocked for the document uploading once you select this here you need to upload this 10th march sheet 12th march sheet and obc and seal certificate and medical certificate and this is a very important step that is state eligibility proof because you see in nats you have a quota for a home state quota under this quota you will able to get seats for your uh, selection so in case you are getting allocated based on the home state quota it's very important that you need to provide a proof for your state of eligibility so for which rules and regulation you can refer to this so this one you can find in the joshua official website under information bulletin and business rule so once you go to this you'll able to find this option under this business rule you can download this and this is the pdf that is given here you have a very big pdf but they have referred in the application form that you need to go to the point eight of section one so here the section one is general if you click on that you go here and you need to go for the eighth option so this is the one we need to carefully read so for the purpose of allocation of seat in nit the candidates are assigned to the state code of eligibility the state code of eligibility means the candidate has first appeared in the 12th standard examination so here what they are trying to say is suppose you are a resident of uh, noida but you have written your 12th standard board exam in delhi that means you are state code of eligibility will not be noida your state code of eligibility will be delhi because there only you have completed your 12th standard so this is for all indian students suppose if you are doing any improvement for your exam or arrears for your exam that means your first appeared 12th standard uh, examination will be considered as a state code of eligibility and not the improvement center not the state where the candidate appeared for the imp improvement center so this is the second rule and this is for all the nri students who are not in india who are studying the schooling in these countries nepal bhutan etc so state code of eligibility for these kind of nri students will be their native permanent address will be considered as a state code of eligibility and for which the student must upload their passport along with the class 12 uh, certificate or transcript in this particular document under this you need to upload it, this as a pdf that is your passport as well as your 12th standard mark sheet need to be uploaded together in case if you are an nri student completed your 12th in gulf countries or any other country apart from india this is for oci student that is actually citizen of other country but native as india so they will not be considered and qualified for any state code of eligibility they will be considered as a all india quota seats that is general category seats no state quota will be provided for oci or poi students and the fifth step is you need to upload your medical medical certificate you can download from official joshua website where here there is a certificate format so under this you will find this medical certificate so once you click on this get the certificate downloaded so this is the medical certificate you need to fill up all these details and go to any nearby medical practitioner and you can get your uh, fitness certificate from there and then again you need to scan this and upload it to the joshua seat acceptance portal so the next step is to upload the document so when you click on this you will get this option the things you need to understand before uploading the documents are this is the 10th certificate you must have the date of birth so 10th mark sheet is not very much needed they are asking this mark sheet just to confirm your date of birth either 10th mark sheet or you can upload your birth certificate so next is state eligibility proof so you can upload any proof if you have completed your schooling in india you can upload your 12th standard admit card mark sheet or passport and if it's outside india you need to upload your 12th mark sheet and passport that's enough this document name should not contain the special characters or uh, these things so i am going to rename this before uploading so all the required five documents are uploaded here now click on submit and preview and then i already checked it so i'm going to click on final submit next step is to complete the fee payment we need to pay this 35000 for the joshua counseling for seat acceptance here the bank details for refund in case in future if you are looking for a refund these details will be considered so this cannot be edited it is previously provided by us so now click on submit and pay fee option okay so after doing this you can do your fee payment by these three options either by upa card these are just payment gateway you can select any one of the option and complete your payment after done with the fee payment you can verify all the steps and the last step change willingness will be activated in case if you change that's like slide or fees you can from this you can download your seat acceptance confirmation thanks for watching this video do subscribe and support neeram blazers